Yo, what is up YouTube? I'm Blitz5 and it's been a long time since I've done a Call of Duty commentary and I recently just got back into Black Ops 3 so I figured I'd post this video, post a commentary over it, see what you guys think, see if there's anybody still interested in Call of Duty content, kind of let you guys know what I think, uh, why I'm playing this game right now when there's so many other games to play and uh, I guess just go over the gameplay in general. So... I've noticed that the gameplay is actually pretty long and, and, and these domination matches, that's obviously one of the more popular game types in Call of Duty, uh, Team Deathmatch and Domination. This match was actually about 14 minutes long, so I had to cut it down. I removed some deaths and some um, scenes where like, I wasn't doing a whole lot, like calling down a care package or um, doing something silly. Uh, but this gameplay is pretty busy. I do get a lot of kills. I get 72 kills and 25 deaths, and that's why I did post this video compared to some other ones. Uh, I've had some decent games, but this is definitely my best game. In the beginning here, in the first round, well, in Black Ops 3, there's two rounds to domination. So it's first to 100 and then first to 200. And what's nice about that is it does give you a chance to kind of come back, and that's what we do in this gameplay. So that's why the the actual recording is so long. It's about like I said, like 13 or 14 minutes to begin with is because we do kind of have this comeback because I had 72 kills. And um, I do find myself getting a decent amount of kills now that I've picked up the game, but this is definitely highest uh, before that. I think it was maybe all like only like in the 40s. And as you can see, my kill streaks are pretty low. I don't even know what the kill streaks are in this game. That's how little I've played. But I have like a UAV care package and basically like a Hellfire missile, which is, um, if you haven't played this Call of Duty, it's basically like, in previous Call of Duty, it's just a missile that fires down and then you can shoot it out and it does like a kind of spread. Um, so you could potentially get like one to two, maybe three people, but most of the time you're going to get like zero to two, uh, average out around one kill uh, because of the way that the missile spread it doesn't always guarantee you a kill. So that's what I have right now. And I actually found it kind of annoying at some points because I was having to put down so many care packages, but it did kind of keep my kill streak going. And right here, also, if you haven't played Black Ops 3, each class has a kind of different um, ability that they have that you can turn on by hitting both your bumpers. And again, I don't even know how you get these. I just assume it's when you hit a certain amount of points, you get this for your class. And once you die, it's gone. So the class that I'm playing right now is has like a rocket launcher. Uh, it's more like a grenade launcher kind of kill streak. And sometimes it's really good and other times it's not as helpful. But um, it actually blows up like near contact and it can kind of bounce. Um, it shoots like very limp grenades that they suck. They don't go that far. Even when you throw grenades in this game, they don't go as far as the old Call of Duties, which has really thrown me off. I have to, I end up throwing them like a lot higher and they don't make it as far, which I guess maybe is a good thing. They kind of were like, you could really chuck grenades. I would like John Elway style or uh, Peyton Manning style, I guess, grenades, like throwing them super far and well, not Peyton Manning anymore, but old school Peyton Manning, let's say, right? Um, nowadays it'd be like Cam Newton or someone just bombing a pass. Um, but that's kind of gone in this game and the, going back to that grenade launcher, sometimes it can just blow a lot of stuff and be really helpful and other times it just doesn't really make it to its target and uh, it just gets you killed kind of fast, uh, especially because you have to kind of be somewhat close and if you're pretty close to them in proximity, it's, it's hard to use. It's definitely a better weapon to use if someone's taking the domination point or etc. Uh, and this map is really cool. It's one of my favorite maps in Black Ops 3 so far. Um, my strategy for a lot of this match is to kind of hang out here uh, where they're spawning and kind of rotate in between spawns. I move up too far here and die. But basically, if you kind of run to their base and hang out in front, you can kind of catch them running out of the base because there's multiple exit points and then shoot them from behind. And this class is somewhat of a stealth class, which is you know a common thing that you can do in Call of Duty where... Uh, you're not super detectable by UAVs. I don't have all of the perks unlocked because I'm still pretty low level. I don't know if it says it here, but I can't be more than like level 20 or 30 here. So I don't have a lot of the perks unlocked yet. So I can't really make a full silence class, but my gun is silenced. So right here, you can see like I shot that guy in the back and I'm kind of hiding here, waiting, um, rotating around, taking B, which is nice. And then shooting those grenades out. I'm trying to bounce off the wall because I know people are going to be like heading towards me. And right here, I got that guy. So that, that grenade launcher ended up being really awesome and just kind of predicting that you, you know people are going to be coming because this map is pretty small. And like most maps in Black Ops 3, um, they a lot of them are really small maps, which is cool. It's really nice. It keeps the action going. I kind of miss having some bigger maps, but then again, I never feel bored on any of these maps. So let me go into why I've already been talking about this for like four and a half minutes, five minutes. Let me go into why I'm playing this Call of Duty right now and, and what I think about it, I guess. So Call of Duty launched, I bought it. 
I ended up playing it like one or two times, but because Halo was out and I've, I've been really into Hearthstone, oh, this is funny, I actually ran out of ammo there, so I couldn't do anything. I decided like, I don't know, Call of Duty is kind of gone for a lot of people. It seems like a lot of people haven't purchased Call of Duty because of the lack of interest. You know, it comes out every year. The Ghosts in Advanced Warfare have weren't that great. I, you know, I didn't really love them like most people. I think some people might have lost their faith in Call of Duty, unfortunately, when this game really brought it back. I mean, I think you had to expect that Black Ops 3 would sell well. It is a Black Ops game. Black Ops 1 and 2 are my favorite Call of Duties, that and Advanced Warfare. I mean, uh, Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2, those are, are definitely the best. Um, and that, that series of time of Call of Duty was definitely the best period um, when it wasn't too crazy with weird weapons but advanced enough um, in the future to have some awesome weapons involved and gameplay and mechanics and stuff like that um, obviously world of war and those games are really cool but i played the modern warfare and black ops series to like a new level of gaming and like it pushed my gaming to like a new extreme and i was extremely good at those call of duty so it was, it was fun to play and I, I played like way too much of them to be honest with you um, but anyways so my buddy Andrew had been playing this game, kind of sticking it out, even though nobody was online, and he convinced me to play. And I've been enjoying it a lot. It's just it's just fun because it's a nice break from Halo and other games because Call of Duty is instantly satisfying, and it's always satisfying. Like, they always have these little kill streaks. So on top of it being an FPS shooter, and you have objectives and domination, like if you capture objective, that's set capture an objective that's satisfying you get a kill that's satisfying if you get a kill streak that's satisfying if you get this grenade launcher class specific thing that's satisfying uh, there's just so many things if you get the win it's satisfying but it's still okay if you lose because there's all these little things that are involved that keep the game kind of going um, the game is very mobile which is awesome like you can run around you can traverse the map pretty well there's wall running but it's not like too cheap or anything like that um, and it has like a nice touch. It's just nice to move around the map and it adds some extra elements to the map, but it's not crazy to the point of advanced warfare where you can just hop up like multiple levels and it's like totally vertical and you don't know where you're getting shot from. That's what really made Call of Duty frustrating because even though in some maps and some realistic life or real life situations, um, places are going to be really vertical and you're not going to know if someone's above you or below you in a multiplayer environment if you make a place that's like completely vertical it just really makes the gameplay hard because unlike in real life you can't have a sense that someone's above you or on top of you in a game because you're just restricted to a certain amount of field of view um so i think keeping the game a little bit more linear having like two or three levels it is good enough or just like one or two and it just makes the gameplay a little bit more smoother and just seems a little bit more fair and comprehensible on these like kind of screens we're looking at a monitor and, I, and that's what they went back to with this game which, which was really awesome and uh, i could definitely just see like i picked up the game super fast it reminds me of an older game and it's just a shame that so many people don't have this call of duty because i'm having so much fun with it that i want to post more content to my page i want to play this game more i've actually been like thinking about it at work like i want to play and check out some of the other weapons because i really haven't had time to try new weapons and new kill streaks and unlock new things um, but fortunately this price did seem to drop pretty quickly i remember for black friday and for christmas so i think that if you know, you were still watching this and you're interested in the game, you could probably pick it off up off Amazon or at a store, maybe used at GameStop for a pretty decent price. I would recommend it if you don't have anything to play. Um, I haven't played the story mode or anything like that. I don't know if I really plan to, um, but that's always extra benefit as well. And uh, so as this game's coming to an end, you can see I keep kind of hitting back temporarily here, but I'm, I think I'm like at 70 kills here. Towards the end of the game, it started to like wind down and I stopped um, getting a lot of kills and I ended up getting killed a whole bunch of times. So I was just like ready for this game to end. It was an insane comeback. We were getting like, like we were dying a lot in the first match and I was just happy to get there. So actually yeah, I'm at 72 kills now. So this is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys are interested in more Call of Duty content. I know I've been posting a lot of different things to my page, but um, I figured I'd post this. And also, uh, sorry about the quality. It's not that great. I ripped this off my Twitch stream because I didn't record it at the time. Uh, so sorry about that. Anything further would probably be like full HD content. So as always, I'm Blitz5. Thank you for watching. Peace.